Coin market cap today and a mystery that we are going to resolve. Clay token appeared on the last week and a half on the top 20 cryptocurrencies, right now 13, and we are going to reveal why this cryptocurrency just appeared here on coin market cap, just from thin air, because it was not here on the last year, and we already have 10 billion dollars on market cap. We are going to review this coin, we are going to review this project and we are going to see if we have potential investment here or not. Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor and in today's video I'm going to review Clayton or Clay, the token. A project and a token that appear as a mystery in CoinMarketCap and similar platforms over the last week, week and a half. And in this video we are going to know if this is a gem, an unicorn or just a pump and dump coin. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notification. Subscribing is free and helps me a lot. I have been seeing that 80% uh, of you continue seeing my videos but are not subscribed. So please click that subscribe button and the bell to get the notifications. And leave me a comment on the video. What are your thoughts about this project? Are you thinking to invest in it? And if you want me to do any coin review, topic review or project review, just put it in the comments. I will consider all your comments and for further videos. Without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well the first thing that we can see is that uh, clay, clay token is ranked 13 on coin market cap already. A value of four dollars and a market cap of 10 billions. We don't have the max supply here. We are going to review this stuff. But the most important thing that you can notice here is that most of the volume of this token is in uh, Korean exchanges like Coin One and OKX. And you can see also that we have Clay Swap, which is a decentralized uh, exchange that is managed also for this uh, company. And here we have most of the block volume also for this cryptocurrency. So the first thing that you always are going to do when you're reviewing a new project is from CoinMarketCap or any similar platform like CoinGecko, you're going to go to the website. And in clade.com, as soon as you enter, you have this pop-up of term of use and privacy updates, which is already rare. Um, we don't know yet what uh, this project is and we see have here an announcement that they are going to change the name of the company and a couple of things that you don't want to read the first time that you enter to a website of a company. And also you have the Korean uh, translation here and the English version. You will may want your website to detect uh, your browser uh, language or have another kind of way to, to show this. But even that, this is not my first good impression of the, of the website. Once you enter, the website is uh, pretty much very simple, not so nice to look at it, and it's very confusing. Um, reading this, we could have a little notion of what it is. Basically, Clayton Mainnet is already launched and it's a blockchain, blockchain platform that could be Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, etc. Um, the particularity that they have is that they can this um, two way to manage the blockchain from public blockchain and into private blockchain. So this is one of the things that I ideal for DeFi ecosystem. If a finance company wants to manage some part of the of the information in a private blockchain, they can do it and share the information with a, a public part of the blockchain. So that would be one good thing that this project came here. They are very focused on blockchain applications with basically our uh, DApps, decentralized applications too. Um, and then the site starts a little lagging of consistency. We can see here, for example, if we go to the part of media and press, that the last things have been published on July of 2020. We are right now already at the end of March 2021 and we don't have any updates here. So if I am following the project, I would like to have this updated. The same happened with the events. 
November 2019 is the last thing that we have been seeing here. So this is starting to look a little rear for me. Um, the project is based on Korean also. The ecosystem is lack of any uh, partners that you may know. It's not that they don't have anything, but the website doesn't tell you too much. The only thing that you have here is the clay is an NFT digital asset that fuels and secures the claim protocol. I mean, it's like the gas for the blockchain that could be BTORP for BeChain or gas for NEO. It can be used in various ways, such as transaction fees, the medium of exchange, staking, collateral for secondary tokens. Other thing that I don't like from the website in terms of information, if, you, if I go to the team to review the team, that will lead me to another URL different from clay.com and that's not very good from part of them. Um, I mean, the company behind them is GroundX and they are showing me here the, the team of GroundX group. But this doesn't look to me that it's uh, linked to, to clay. So I would like to see the team on their same website. I don't like the situation that sent me to a different URL, uh, which is not the same website for, for see the team. And there's not, not much information here, only four people. And this is more related to the, to the main company and not for the claimed uh, and clay token. So this is a, a minus one for me on the website and information. Doing a little of dig of Clayton, uh, we see that Kakao is, is the, ma the main company for, for that technology and blockchain and token. Um, they are a subsidiary of Kakao, which is a Korean company also, and they are huge. Doing some research, uh, Kakao is, is started and it's like the WhatsApp for Korean people. Mainly all Korean uh, country use um, this uh, system for texting. It's like the WhatsApp, but for Korean, for Korea people. Looking into Kakao, we can say that they work from already 10 years on the internet industry. Um, they have, for example, from May of 2017, the app have 220 million registered users and 47 million active monthly users. And this is already from, from four years ago. So this is the main application that Korean people use. And the company itself has a network of uh, 3 trillion Korean uh, money. If we pass that into dollars, it's 2.6 uh, trillion dollars of revenue. So this company not only have this application, which uh, is the most used in Korea, they also have another products in gaming and, and other industries. So this is start to make sense why uh, they will have a blockchain solution. And this made me think a lot because this is like Google uh, launching the coin right now, or like Facebook wanted to try with uh, Libra, that these main companies like Google, Amazon, and in this case, Kakao, and they are going to launch their own blockchain. I don't think they will work with another already blockchain company. And this is one of the steps that these main and centralized companies are going to do. So Clayton has been already launched uh, the, their mainnet uh, two years ago. So it's a, uh, a project that has been expanding on partners, mainly it's all in Korea. Actually, if you look for news about this project and the token, you will mainly have results for Korea sites. Uh, they are expanding, so they have been growing uh, in the rest of the world, and mainly they are expanding in Asia. Um, we can see here, this is from th seven months ago, it's not a, a new uh, news, but uh, Clayton and Link are cat uh, catalyzed blockchain adoption in Asia. And they mentioned here that Kakao, the father of, of the project, by far the most dominant mobile platform in Korea with market shares of 97% in the country. Kakao subsidiary GramDex, which is uh, why we have this uh, disruptive in the website that lead us to GramDex, begin deployment of uh, development of Clayton back in 2019 after raising 90 million in both venture, venture and private capital early the same year. I would say that a lot of projects that I research, 90 million, it's a lot 
from Rising for the Venture Capital. Um, they are mainly designed the business for that can be used easily to launch their own blockchain-based application, known as blockchain apps or B apps. Uh, also, from the same time, uh, the Korean biggest crypto fund invested in Clay Clayton and Link. Um, this is because the, they are will will using a Link as uh, the main protocol for them. And this is just for one day ago, 29 of March, the South Korean popular blockchain platform Clayton announced integration with OpenSea NFT marketplace. This is one of the biggest news that the company has right now uh, in terms of adoption. This partnership will unlock major opportunities for Clayton with integration with OpenSea. Clayton can release its own NFTs right from gaming items to digital art characters. As per the official press release, the peer-to-peer -peer trading of the Clayton Power NFTs will start by the end of June of 2021. So this is only two or three months from now. Um, they will get the, the SPY share of the NFT marketplace. And this will be huge because right now we continue the hype of NFTs. In terms of the Twitter, uh, like happened with the website, um, they don't have an enormous amount of followers. And um, the news here, uh, we have one from 11 hours ago that they are in the top uh, 13. But from there, the last uh, official announcement was November 2020 and all November, and we can go from there. But there are not too much movement on the Twitter account. And that is something that I don't look, uh, I don't like to see in a, in a project that is in hype right now and in the po uh, position 13 of CoinMarketCap and all platforms. Uh, a project with $10 billion already, I will expect more exposure. Um, going into another news, uh, we can go to dapp.com and look for Clayton and we will see that they already have applications working. Many of them don't have any rate or there are like testing applications or very small applications, but another ones of them, they have been uh, growing from, from last uh, times, but they already have like uh, 70 apps here, the apps uh, working and deployed. In terms of the code, I am a developer too, so this is one part that I like to research. Uh, I will say that they, they are very active on GitHub. They have all the repositories continuously updating with a lot of commits and reviews. So you can see here on, the, on all the repositories have been changing and been committing changes. So the developer teams uh, seems that is working really hard. And that will be one thing that I appreciate in a project that the developer team is continually updating the project itself. And we can see here on the state of the apps that a uh, clay swap is in position 41 of all the rank and has been growing a lot. And they have a lot of volume also from the, the central exchange. If we check clay swap, we can see that everything works fine. I like it more the side than the company side. Uh, it's very intuitive, unlike any other decentralized exchange like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, etc. You can trade and swap your coins here. You have the ability to have a pool. Um, you can uh, have custodial for your um, cryptocurrencies here also. Um, well, that will be all for this video. In terms of um, resolution for this, I would like to see more expansion outside Korea. I think uh, this is a big step for a company that is a centralized company, uh, like could happen with Google or Amazon creating their own blockchain and token project. That would be something in, that I would be investing in. But because Korea is a market that I don't know really well, I think I will wait in terms of waiting expansion outside Korea. Uh, Korea is a lot uh, digging in cryptocurrency, so I think in Korea this is this token and this company is very important for the parent cacao, like I show you, and I think that is why they have the amount of capital that they have for being in position 13 and partnerships. But like I say, uh, I am not a financial advisor, but for me I will be waiting to invest in this coin. 
I think they have a great potential because of their parent uh, company. Uh, but I will see how they progress on expansion, um, on exposure, on press and social media. I think they need to make some updates on a lot of things. But that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to uh, do a coin review or a project review, point your comments on the video and tell me your thoughts on this project. And also, if you didn't saw these other videos, watch it. And I see you in the next video.